You asked for him. We got him back again. Nick is here. He's our resident Mercedes-Benz technician. Nick, we have the ratcheting box and combination wrenches from Milwaukee Tool. Tell everybody what you said about them. Milwaukee Tools cannot make a good wrench. You heard it here. I'm going to tell us a little bit more about it. Right after this is a message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. You want to help out with the channel? Head on over to the merch store. You get hats, hoodies, t-shirts. Link is in the description below. Why can't they make a good wrench? What kind of wrenches do you use on the daily? Tell us how you arrived at. You don't like them, or you didn't like them, or you only, tell us about it. Who knows Milwaukee tools for making hand tools? No one goes around saying, oh, I got my new Milwaukee wrench set. Right, so what you're saying is you like their power tools. When it comes to hand tools though, that wouldn't be the choice that you'd go for. It wouldn't be, no. Okay, what would you normally use? I have snap-on wrenches. Tell us about your snap-ons. I bought a higher size set of wrenches. Okay. I bought 19 to 24 millimeter. In our field, my field, it's what is the go-to. Craftsman wrench, I'm trying to do an alignment. It keeps slipping off the 17 or the 21. We would go from that and then, oh, it's slipping off here. Here's a snap-on and it'll just dig into it, it'll bite, it'll break it loose. Gotcha. It'll do anything you need it to do because of their technology on their open end of the wrench. What you thought receiving these initially was that these would be an experience that you had like Craftsman. Yes. So tell us a little bit how you use them on the daily. What were you doing with these first? These I used for essentially any and everything. Eight millimeter came in real handy because on the front of our engines, they tend to leak oil. And they have E10s, which happen to be eight millimeters. Too thin of an area to get a, wrench, a ratchet in. So you gotta put a wrench in there. It would come down, fit nice and perfect, and it would just grab onto the E10. Would you would you use the, the open end or would you use the ratcheting box? I would level? use the open end to break it loose. Okay because you don't want to damage the ratcheting. Okay. And then flip it over and loosen it the rest of the way. So it did what you needed there? It did what I needed. There is a recall we have that involves replacing things on a steering rack. Okay. So we have to take the racks down and that involves an 18. Okay. You gotta reach up kind of blindly, grab a nut, and then break it loose. Like a squirrel. Put the 18 up there folded the box end out of the way, use the open end and grab the 18 and it would break it loose. 21 for suspension work, use the 22 for suspension work. So is there anywhere these fell down? You didn't like them? No. Uh -huh. Compared to your snap-on, you like these? I have reached for these faster than I reach for my snap-on. Tell me, tell me why, I'm, I'm confused. The flex head ratcheting. Go on. Sometimes, granted these are new or not, abused for years, Yes. but they're not. Okay. You see them flopping around? No. I don't. So if I need it to stay here to get a bolt, it'll stay there and get that bolt. So your snap bolts are ratcheting box then or no? Yes. Oh, they are, but they're a little floppy. They are. I've used them quite a bit, gotcha. but even some of the new ones I get tend to be a little bit looser. And sometimes it's just not as thin as these also. Like the 17s, uh, sometimes like the back of the brake calipers, they will need to be a little bit thinner. Yeah. So they can actually fit in between, so it doesn't. Uh, so what would you do in that case? Grab a pair of ice grips. Oh my lord. So in what instance would you like these to be thinner? Tell me. So brake calipers, the sliding calipers, there's the nut that the bolt threads into. Yeah. You know, a lot of people know you can't normally fit a normal size ratchet and a wrench in there. You need a lower profile, a thinner one. Even their bigger sizes, like the 22, 21. Yeah. These are pretty thin wrenches okay. for what they are. Granted, the head of the open end is a little bit thicker, but the body of it itself is nice and thin. Is there anything that you'd like to see improved or are these perfect in your opinion? Um, these for everyday use and like just simple things are, I have no gripes with them. If they have a thinner 
end for an open end. Yeah. That would be nice in some situations, but you don't always need that. That's very specific things that you need that for. You know, back in the day when we were crumb bags, when we needed a thinner wrench to fit in a specific grind it. we would just grind the head down. We ain't gonna do it with these. No way we grind this head down. What's up, everybody? We have Nick with us. He's our resident Mercedes Benz technician, and he's been using this 3.8 Stubby Impact. Did an initial review, but then we sent him off to use it some more, and a little bit more turned into a lot more, and then a lot and a lot and a lot more, and it's like a year later, or maybe two years later. It's back. Still been using it for the same things I did, what, two years ago? You could see what he was using it for two years ago in that video there. You liking it, loving it? Is it doing everything the same as it was doing two years ago? It is doing everything that I want it to not going to be the most powerful thing. It's it's a three ace stub. Yeah. It's not meant to take wheels off. For anywhere you would use a three ace ratchet, if that can fit, use it. By far my favorite thing I have reviewed besides the flex. Any any downfalls? Anything not operating? I mean you're still within the five year warranty or whatever it is on, on M12. Is there anything that's not operating the way it was before? No, I've used it abused it, it has kept going, it's not hesitated one bit. You like the protective boot? Does it protect fenders and stuff? What's I do, up? yeah, so besides this little clip right here that needs to come off that I keep forgetting. Um, like, it's only like two years. Yeah, I know. It for two years. It's, yeah. I lay this on a car, I'm of course gonna lay it clip side up, but I'm not worried about the paint because of this protective boot. It's probably saved me a couple times from scratching the car. That's cool stuff. Thing looks great, it looks brand new. So if you're gonna buy the stubby, make sure you get the boot, or you're gonna get the boot from where you're working. And if you like getting advice that save you from getting the boot, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do, it doesn't cost you a dime. You get like eight years of good luck, probably seven. All right, just seven years of good luck. It doesn't cost you a dime. Take that clip off. Pretty advice. Saved everybody from getting the boot. See you on the next one, everybody.